All right, we are back. We are here today. We are reviewing the Patterson Care Wheel Cleaner. You know, recently I was in Atlanta at Import Alliance with the 240. And some of you may know that David, that dude in blue, has came up with his own line of car care product, the Patterson Care. Now, I actually went ahead and grabbed his wheel cleaner, which is what we have right here. The Patterson, he did not pay me. He did not ask me to do this video, guys. This is literally just gonna be a full out review on this product. And we're gonna ask ourselves, is it any good? Now, if at any point in time you guys would like to purchase some of this Patterson Care product, I will have the link in the description for you to go ahead and do so. Um, I was lucky enough to grab some at the show. It sold out very quickly. So obviously, as you guys can see, our wheels are absolutely filthy. They have gone through 2,000, well, actually 1,000 miles back from uh, Atlanta to upstate New York, and they have definitely seen better days. Now, this stuff here, guys, on the back, it does say, if the wheels have been painted, test a small area before applying to entire wheels. So obviously guys, if you have been keeping up to date, we have our custom painted RPF ones, which I did in a two-tone color scheme, which I think are awesome, the Oreos. Today guys, we're gonna go ahead, give this stuff a try, the Patterson Care, and hopefully we get these things looking just like new. So let's just go ahead and hop right in. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. <laughs> totally kidding. So what's up guys, we're doing a little voiceover. I was gonna actually try the wheel cleaner on the front wheel. I realized, uh, maybe I'll try in the back just in case. Yeah, right, a little better. Give it a little squirt squirt and uh, let it do her magic. As you guys can see, the thing is already chowing through that grime. That red is basically the chemical in whatever this magical substance is that allows you to get that deep clean. So now we're gonna go ahead and wait for 60 seconds and let this stuff do its work. Bring out the timer. Two. One complete. All right, whip out that hose, whip her out. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. They do say you use a high pressure washer. We don't have any of that crap. Hose will do just fine. Looking like brand new, big guy. Let's get the rest done. Quickly before we get started, I guess, let's take a look at the grime we got on these wheels. So this is after a thousand miles of driving in the rain, Full time, obviously we have salt, we got mud, we got dirt, we got nastiness all over these things. So we are in definite need of a solid clean. I mean, just look at that. I mean, look at the grime that's just caked on these wheels, okay? No average wheel cleaner would touch this, all right? Nothing would, believe me, I've tried. All right, moving on to our first wheel here. We're gonna do the left side first, let it do its thing. And then we'll go ahead and spray it down just to show you guys a little side-by-side -side action. I mean, would you, would you just look at that? This stuff is putting in work right now. No scrubbing, you know, none of that. Just let the product do the work. Break that $800 stopwatch out because you're going to need it. All right, 60 seconds has passed, the moment of truth. Here we go. You know, oh, oh, oh wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure, I see you. To be honest, I didn't think it would be that good without agitating the actual surface, but you guys see it here, folks. Patterson Car Care. Patterson Care. Check it out, link below. All right guys, I gotta say, honestly, this stuff blew my mind as far as how strong it is, how well it works without even agitating the dirt, the grime, it just puts in work. David, whatever you made this stuff out of, man, it's like some unicorn juice, this stuff is killer. Look at the difference, look at the difference. Insane, brand new. It even got in the barrels. The barrels are gleaming right now. Well, all haul righty then. So since that went so great, we are gonna do the rest of the wheels and we're gonna get this thing looking just like new again. So without further ado, sit back and let's enjoy some clean wheels. So if you guys are like me and have wheels that are just absolutely ridiculously filthy, it actually states on the bottle, guys, to go ahead and use a nice little brush to go ahead and agitate the surface. Obviously, you don't want to use anything too kind of abrasive or too kind of harsh. A nice little paintbrush did the job just well and, you know, cleans it up, gives it extra touch. Perfect. Ooh, man, that looks nice. I mean, 
come on, ladies and gentlemen. Can we ask for anything better than this? Also, white wheels are by far the hardest test subject, especially ones that have been through a thousand plus miles worth of road grime, salt, dirt, mud. This is cash money. You know what, I'm actually gonna shut up for a little bit and I'm gonna let you guys enjoy seeing this wheel get transformed to what it looks like right now. As you can see, toss a little bit of that magic unicorn juice on there. And by the way, the smell that comes off of this, the smell, not the greatest, okay? Not the greatest. It smells a little bit like ass with like a little hint of grape, you know, a little bit of grape Kool-Aid's just knocking on the door be like, hey, what's up? I'm here, can I join? But hey, I mean, you know what I mean? The product works, it does what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to smell great. However, just a quick little plug, the quick detailer smells amazing. All right, but like I said, I am done talking for a little bit. Let's go ahead and enjoy this wheel getting cleaned. All right, so well, this stuff right here, pretty incredible. Uh, just by the way, start, sorry for my current state. This is a little bit after when I filmed this video. However, I need to film an outro, which I did forget to do. So this is where we're at. Um, I had This is pretty much how much I use, so this is where the bottle is right now. Granted, guys, these wheels were absolutely filthy. I guarantee you, none of your guys' wheels are that dirty. Maybe they are. If they are, let me know in the comments below, because that is impressive. For real, David, if you're watching, man, what you created here is is magic in a bottle, honestly. Like, this stuff is legit. Um, it cleans up wheels really well, as you guys saw, without even brushing them. Obviously, a brush helps, especially when they're that dirty. They're looking great now, however. And yes, sorry, the car is a little bit... That's my transmission right there. Transmissions are normally supposed to be in part, like in the car. Yeah, there's that's happening. I give this two thumbs up. Honestly, if you guys are interested in grabbing a bottle for yourself, I'm gonna be definitely hitting them up for some more when the time comes because this stuff is awesome. The only problem is it smells a little bit like ass and then like, like, like grape Kool-Aid will creep in a little bit, but still like a lingering smell of ass. So just keep that in mind, however, it's the chemical in here that's doing its job. Unfortunately, it smells like ass. Grape ass. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That's gonna be it for today's video. I've been working on the S14, so you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of, the motor is in, the engine bay is painted, the fuel system is almost complete, radiator is in, wiring is almost done. Guys, this thing is looking so good, you have no idea, and you definitely don't wanna miss out on any content coming soon. So that's gonna be it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, we're out of here. David, thanks again, my dude. Keep killing the game. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed. Later. Peace.